it's the 1st of October. Um, just going to have a look across the Liverpool Plains today. Going to go down the eastern edge, sort of, and then across the centre and up. Um, first up, I'm just standing in a wheat paddock here, just east of Kaluas. you can see in the background is the just in a second ago. This is a crop of labour beans. They look fairly short. A lot of the crops around here were affected by frost. They managed to lose most of their pods and flowers and and then uh, it got very dry so they haven't had an ideal run. Looking down into the crop you can see there's not a lot here. I've heard reports further north where the crops looked fairly similar to this and they're harvesting you know, something like 100, 150 kilos per hectare or some stupid amount. So there's probably, I don't know, you'd like to think there's more than that on this crop, but you don't know until you get the header in. Anyway, we'll keep moving across the top of the breeze plain here and see what we can see. Just further down on the Breezer Plain now, sort of east of Nay siding, crop of canola here. Doesn't look too bad actually. We'll have a little bit more of a look at some wheat here in a minute, but um, I'll just get down into this canola. This is, uh, I don't know, it's about five foot high, I suppose. Doesn't look like a lot of um, frost damage here at all. It's got quite a few pods on it. Not a lot of aphid damage. Looks good. I'm not uh, sure how to estimate the yield on this canola, but you have to say that there's sort of, I don't know, close to uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 to the acre on this, I'm not sure. We'll find out in a few weeks. So we're just up the road a bit from the sun top we were just looking at and this is a field of Janderoy, Durham wheat. Looks pretty good. It's um, so late, it's so in July. They uh, sort of a late fall to go with a paddock of Durham. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's um, got a little bit of leaf disease but not much. The establishment's very good. Long way to go, but um, yeah, it's probably about two weeks from putting the head out. Oh, a week and a half, two weeks from putting the head out. Anyway, we'll um, head up towards the silos and uh, see what's up on the edge of the hill here. We're just up the hill a bit now, still um, same property as we were a minute ago. This is a paddock of sun top wheat. It was sown earlier, it was sown in June. So it's well and truly out in head now. It's still flowering though. Looks pretty good. 
actually, uh, it's not been busted, but yeah, it's uh, a lot better than some of the wheat a lot further north of here, that's for sure. We'll jump down and get into it and have a look at it. Past the silos and, and then start heading south. And 